that. So let's go to, I'm going to play a clip of her saying that there's death threats that have to be dealt with. Here we go. So this is recent. These are from the last week or two. And, uh, and she's talking about threats on her life, supposedly. Arkansas's Freedom of Information Act. Arkansas FOIA laws have been largely unchanged since they were signed in 1967. In a time before email, cell phones, text messages, and sadly, before some of the more aggressive polarization that we see across our country today. Arkansas has some of the most transparent FOIA laws in the country, and these reforms will do nothing to change that. I just want to point out that because uh, people are at each other's throats, uh, Republicans are making people hate Democrats. Democrats are making people hate Republicans uh, because she did something in the Trump administration that people in Arkansas may not like. Now that she is elected governor, they want to expose her corruption. Uh, she's using that as this smokescreen for why we should have loophole that why government should be able to put loopholes in a, a, a tried and true freedom of information law that has been working for 50 years. The technology doesn't matter. You can't scare people with the internet anymore. You know, get, get a better shtick. But some are weaponizing FOIA and taking advantage of our laws to hamper state government and enrich themselves. They don't care about transparency. They want to waste taxpayer dollars, slow down our bold conservative agenda, and frankly, put my family's lives at stake. The last point is very personal. I had to deal with credible death threats when I was in the White House, becoming the first White House press secretary in the history of our country to require Secret Service protection, something that is generally reserved for the president, the vice president, and their families. When I was campaigning for this office, we had violent people track our movements to try to do us harm. A man near Russellville was arrested for threatening to shoot me. And just last month, a man in Oklahoma pled guilty for trying to kill me. Our current FOIA laws put me and my kids at risk. So we will update sections of the law so that the sources and methods Arkansas State Police uses to protect me and my family outside of the governor's mansion are not subject to disclosure. This will function the same as current law, which makes it. So I just would like to point out that this idea that there needed to be a change in the law to protect sources and methods is complete and utter bullshit because that's the way the laws have always been written. There have always been exemptions to protect people. So, you know, you wouldn't know real time how the police or any security officials are involved in protecting a lawmaker or what their protocol is to protect a governor or anything like that. By and large, the records that are disclosed are always going to be historical so that they can give you some kind of idea about how a person is operating in an office. So when she travels, she takes a plane. It's the most likely way that she would get around but let's say there's some other way of traveling the people who are accompanying her what what is happening the the time the destinations where she travels where she makes stops those kinds of things are important to the public to know and to hide behind this thing of you know you got some randos who don't like you and your family i mean look if you don't like that that's the world that exists around you you should maybe consider another profession, you know, maybe get the fuck out of Arkansas and don't be a governor. I mean, her, uh, Mike Huckabee, Mike Huckabee, uh, that was, I believe that was her dad was a governor. Uh, you know, you see him going around complaining about death threats. I mean, get in line, you know, the death threats against, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the death threats to Elon Omar, people from your group of thinkers, your ideological wing 
of the political spectrum, like what they do. This is just what's happening. I mean, you raise, she, she raises the temperature. There are people on the Democratic side that raise the temperature and talk about what they want to do to people like Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And then you got people who act on it and shouldn't carry out violence. But it is not an excuse to use to gut a freedom of information law. It just isn't. So that those same sources and methods used with on the, within the grounds of the mansion cannot be released. In keeping with our mission of transparency, we will also add a requirement that on a quarterly basis, Arkansas State Police will prepare a report for the legislature that aggregates the cost of security for the first family. We are also updating our laws to the same standard that the federal government uses to keep internal deliberations in the executive branch exempt from FOIA. Right now, a Chinese state-owned company operating in Arkansas could use their employees to FOIA for internal government documents. Somebody suing the state of Arkansas can FOIA our attorneys to determine our legal strategy. That's not just crazy. It's a waste. Okay. Uh, well, besides the fact that she's probably lying about what people could get again, uh, and, and now it's uh, the China boogeyman has entered. So you know that there's not really a legitimate gripe, uh, but you know, she's talking about people not being able to get information about what their government is doing to develop a policy and who has the influence and where it's generated or originates. And in fact, it's worth noting here as we look back to this day, that she got significant pushback from the GOP in her state and they opposed this. And this did not make the law. This did not make it into the final bill that went to Sanders' desk to be signed. She lost on this. Everything she said was rejected on this part of her campaign to you know call this an emergency. We got to do something. Waste of taxpayer resources. We will end this practice and bring Arkansas in line with federal law and the laws of other states, ranging from New York and California to Oklahoma and Alabama. Okay, so that lost. Um, and then what also lost was the fees, the thing that uh, we're going to make it harder for someone who sues uh, an agency for an improper denial, that they're not going to get paid for it. 